big highlight attraction, the air show this afternoon and tomorrow. All, of course, best viewed from Marina Green, if you're going to be there. Yeah, and well, that, I thought that big attraction was our field anchors. That's right. Right? Mark and George. Yeah, the absolutely. Dynamic duo. They're out there all along uh, in this morning as well as Will Trangs. We got team coverage. Hi, guys. Hi, good morning. Yeah, we are. We're down here at the Marina Green, and at this site, not only will it be a great spot to see the air show later, but there are a lot of events that you'll only find here. A lot of military exhibits, a lot of vendors will be here. Uh, so this is really an activity center and a hub. And uh, one of the best fleet weeks in San Francisco, of course, and one of the reasons is miles of waterfront and lots of hills. Uh, Crawford's Force Grant Lotus shows you some of the best places to watch the air show. There are miles of San Francisco coast find prime locations for people to take in the sights and sounds when the Blue Angels come to town. If you can see the rock, you're in a good spot. Center stage for the show is the airspace around Alcatraz. Fisherman's Wharf and Pier 39 are pretty good places to check out the action, especially if you're near the water. And how about a unique viewing experience here at the Hyde Street Pier? For five bucks, you can watch from aboard these historic ships. Pretty cool, right? Pro tip, though, get here early because the ships fill up fast. If you have the cash and want a guaranteed first-class experience, big baller style, Marina Green might be the place for you. Box seats, food, drinks, the whole bit. You'll impress people 50 to 225 bucks a ticket, depending on the day you come and where you want to sit. But if you want to bring your own treats and use these seats, you can settle in for one heck of a show here at Aquatic Park, right near Ghirardelli Square. And of course, if you know somebody with a rooftop deck, that's a great way to watch because if you're in the right spot, the Blue Angels will basically part your hair when they come screaming by. Worth noting, though, traffic always a mess in these areas on Fleet Week weekend. So the best bet, don't drive. It's more fun that way. Reporting in San Francisco, I'm Grant Lotus, Cron 4 News. And we're all here at the Marina Green, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We're down here this morning. Mark and I will be here all morning. We have interviews with the Patriots jet team coming up. Right now, though, we're going to go out and find where Cronfor's Will Tran is. Somewhere He's, there. yeah, somewhere out here in the Marina Green. Will? Yes, I'm in a different location. So you guys took care of the nuts and bolts. Let me take care of some of the attractions you can see right behind me. It is very cluttered right now, but a good clutter is because they will have so many attractions for people to come down here and enjoy. And just like Grant Lotus talked about, don't drive. You will be swallowed by all of the traffic down here. It's hard enough to park on any given day, much less Fleet Week. This is something new on Friday because you... It picks up really heavy on Saturday and Sunday, but because they want the kids to be involved, John, right, John McKnight, so why did you open it up for Friday? This is something new. We wanted the schools to have an opportunity to come down and see what we're doing here. So often we think families perhaps have got their weekends busy and the kids might miss out on this great opportunity to see their Marines and sailors and what they do at work to help San Francisco in a disaster. This show, just walk through some of the attractions out there for people who are watching and waking up this morning. Certainly. There's some really great items here. One of my favorites here is to the left. This is a water purification system that can draw water directly from the bay and turn it into portable drinking water for people if, if our water system was to fail. This is one of their portable water tanks. Here's the brand new buses from the San Francisco Fire Department. These are mass casualty buses, converted muni buses. If you were to go inside, you would see cots and care facilities. So if people were hurt in a disaster, they could be loaded onto here, treated and transported to hospitals. And we have two of these new units out here today. So they can go inside and walk through and check out all of the, the, the devices inside? Absolutely. You'll come in here. You can see all this equipment up close and personal. You can talk to the people who run it and learn what all these equipments can be used for following a disaster here in San Francisco. Francisco. Have you tried this water? Does I have. Does it taste pretty good? It, it's really nice. It's It'd be great if you're thirsty. It's got a little briny taste, but I challenge people to come down here and uh, give it a shot. I'll give it a shot a little bit later on. You might see me smile or you might see just my prune face. <laughs> so stay tuned. I will do that. I like challenges. This is a good challenge. You come down here. What time does this start? 10 a.m. 10 a.m. and it is free. Back to you guys. All right, thank you. Well, you know, it really is amazing, Georgie. You think of the military, you think of the war capabilities, but it's amazing to see all the humanitarian capabilities uh, the U.S. military has and all the expanded events going on this year. And the, uh, as you mentioned, the capabilities, that's actually been part of the thrust of Fleet Week for the last several years was to show off that capability, and that's one of the things 
as Will said, are going to be demonstrating with using uh, purified bay water. Yes, and I, yeah. Mark, if, if you're thirsty enough, anything is potable. Well, you know, I've seen you and James drink the coffee in the Cron 4 studio, <laughs> so I know you guys will have no problem drinking some bay water. So gross. <laughs> I mean, the coffee. I won't touch that coffee. I know, me neither. No, <laughs> you have to build up a taste for it. <laughs> Paul, our floor director here, is waving his hands. He makes that for us each morning. Oh, sorry, I thought you made it. I'm sorry, Paul. No, you Paul got Paul does making it, it now? It's right. great coffee, Paul. I don't know what they're talking about. All right, Cron 4. <laughs> Cron 4 proud to continue our team coverage all morning long of the Blue Angels and bring you the best seats in the house by watching our